Hey you guys, Guy Stevens here. Um, I got a pretty interesting question from someone and I thought I would make a quick example file. And the question was as follows. What if you have a bunch of contacts in a database? Like for instance here, I've got a first name, last name and a zip code. And um, what if all these zip codes also have a town and a province attached to them? So you will end up with a whole list of uh, contacts right here. And then you will also have a separate um, <coughs> list of all your zip codes and every zip code is in a certain town or in, in a certain province and what if you would like to know how many people are in every province well it's pretty simple you can make a very simple sub summary list where you can just show every single province and you can see the exact amount of um, people that you have in every province now that is cool and that's kind of handy and that's pretty easy to set up I'll show you how in a second but one step further would be wouldn't it be cool if you could display those things on a map this is a map of Belgium and it has different provinces and if you could display the amount of people you have in every province like on this map um, as you can see it's correct here Antwerp has got four Limburg has got two so if you go into our list here that's correct Antwerp four people Limburg two people so now this is easy to set up but the map is a little bit trickier and I'm gonna uh, take you through how we could go about setting something like this up I'm going to start again from a new database just to start from scratch let's call this one map two and when we start in FileMaker, um, it automatically gives you a map here, which I don't really want. The tables that I'm going to want is contacts um, and zip code. Zip codes, and I'm going to get rid of this one because uh, I don't need this. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, contacts. What do I need here? As always, an ID field, which is a number field, which is set to auto enter a serial number so that every contact gets his own serial number. Um, first name is a text field, and then last name is also a text field. What else do we need here? A uh, zip code. Now we could just enter the zip code of the person um, right in here. Um, which is probably pretty safe and then we can just relate this to a zip code field in the zip code table but if a zip code for any reason whatsoever ever changes then you might have a little bit of a problem so I'm gonna make this a zip code IDFK um, and this is gonna be a number field and then we can relate that to the ID of the zip code in our other table which is going to be pretty easy. Um, what else do we need? Uh, we're going to need something more, but I'm going to get to that later. Zip codes, we're going to need an ID, as what we need in every single table. It's also a serial number. I'm going to make a zip code field. Now, a zip code in Belgium is just numbers, but I'm going to set this up as a text field so that I can type ahead in my drop down later on. You'll see that later on. Um, I will have a town and as a text text field and a province. Okay, that's a good start. Let's make a relationship between the zip code IDFK from the contacts to the zip code ID right here. And let's double click this relationship because I want to be able to create these zip codes straight from in here because in the beginning I won't have any zip codes yet and I, want, I don't want to always have to switch layouts to create new zip codes. So I'm going to allow the creation of zip codes from uh, in, in this zip code table via the relationship um, if you are on the contacts. Um, table. Okay, good. That's a good start. We've got this maps layout which we don't need. So let's go to file manage layout. So let's delete this maps layout and then we will arrive automatically at our contacts yeah. layout. Let's have a look. If you create a new record, we can just enter a name, Joe Schmo, and we can uh, enter a zip code. Now I'm gonna have to set up that um, scheme here first. This will just have an ID field in it. Let's say that this is going to be a drop down, a drop down list. And let's make a new value list for this one. Let's make a new one. Let's use values from the field zip codes. Let's say that we're going to enter the ID or the ID is going to be stored in this field. But I don't want to see those. I want to see the zip code. Uh, it show me values only from the second field. And then let's see if that works. Um, it's not going to work yet because we don't have any zip codes yet and I want to be able to make zip codes straight from in this layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of fields right here. And what do I want from zip codes? I'm going to want zip code itself. I'm going to want to control drag this down to get the town. 
and to get the province in here as well. Okay, let's have a look at that, see if that works. Uh, Joe Schmo, what zip code is he in? I don't have a drop down yet because I don't have any fields in here. And in fact, maybe to make this a little bit easier, let's drag them over here. Okay, so I don't have anything yet, but uh, because in my relationship here I set it up that I can uh, create new zip codes from my context layout um, by using that little, uh, let's double click here, that little checkbox here, I am allowed to create new zip codes from here, so let's try if that works. Let's say 2000 is the town of Antwerp, and that's in the province of Antwerp. Okay, so that works. Now, uh, in my zip codes, um, if we go here in the table view, we will see that this has automatically been created. The ID has automatically been filled in, and in my contacts here, it also has the zip code ID 1. And actually, if we want, we could take this one step further and make this a little bit easier by putting these fields on top of each other. That's a little trick that we sometimes use. Um, but for now, let's just leave it like this. It's a bit easier. Okay, so um, actually we can't use that trick because then we can't enter a zip code. We can only use that trick. Um, if we don't want to, then we'd have to have a second zip code field. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go and add another person here, Jane Doe. Either she's going to be from that same zip code or let's give her another zip code. Let's say 3500 is in the town of Salt, which is in Lindbergh. Okay, now um, if we keep doing this, um, who did I have? Uh, it doesn't really matter. If I want, I can now type ahead. If I type a three, then the 3500 will automatically be uh, selected and I can take that one if I want. Uh, or I could just say, okay, uh, this is not the one I want. I'm gonna delete this. Then this is emptied up again and then I can add something else. Let's say 3960, which is Brie in Lindenburg. And that way we can very easily um, add zip codes as much as we want and uh, after we've added a bunch of them eventually we will come to a um, gene, I don't know, uh, first or whatever. Uh, eventually this list will become quite complete. Um, let's say that she's also from here. Let's add a new record of um, Joe Black. Um, let's see what else do we have. Let's see, we can use this one, uh, which is Antwerp. And actually, this province one could also become a drop down uh, with existing values um, if we want. Drop down list, let's make this one provinces. Uh, let's use values from zip codes province. Okay, good. Let's see if that works. Yeah, so we can easily uh, select an existing province, autocomplete. Let's try this out, new record, uh, Vinnie Jones, or something like that. And then let's, um, let's say that we would like to have 2330, which is in Merck's Plus, which is in... And we're, we can just type Antwerp and boom, there we have it. Okay, so we've got a bunch of contacts and we've got a bunch of zip codes, that's cool. Now how do we find out um, which, how many contacts, for instance, are in every province? We can just go into layout mode, we can um, make a new layout, we can make it based on our contacts. And we're gonna call it list provinces. We're going to say it is for the computer and I want to have a list view. Let's finish this and see what it makes for us. It actually makes something, but there are no fields in there yet. We can use our field picker tool if we want. It's, I think it's under view, field picker. I don't even use this very often, but I think it can be used. Let's see, we would like the fields placed like this and the label on top. And we would like from our contacts, first name, last name. Yeah, that's a good start. We're going to put these in the body. Um, we're gonna have to make sure that we set them kind of right. Maybe this needs to go up a bit. Okay, um, and then from the field, oops, the zip codes, we can get the town and provinces as well, and maybe even the zip code. Let's put these there. 
Oof, that looks a little bit big. Zip code is a very small one. We can make it a bit smaller. Town. Let's drag that one in here. And then there is another one hidden somewhere behind your province. Let's get this one a bit closer. And I think we're going to have to make them all a bit closer. Um, anyway, let's do this real quickly. Move them up. First name, last name. Actually, I'm wasting my time with something that's not really necessary because I'm going to delete these anyway. So this again is stupid. But um, just to show you guys, this would be um, something like this. A good list. You have all your contacts and all the provinces. Now what if I want to show how many people are in every province? What I could do, I can make a sub-summary um, part. If you guys don't know that, it's, I will show you. It's very simple. I'm going to go to layouts and say part setup and I'm going to create a new part which is a sub-summary when sorted by. Uh, I want to know um, how many people per province, so I'm going to sort it by province. Okay. Polymaker is going to ask me do I want to put this below or above the body and I want to put it above the body. So it's there. A new part has just shown up here. It's my uh, sub-summary. And I'm going to um, copy, control, drag in Windows this field up here. My zip code province field. For this case I don't need a label. And that is kind of good. It's a bit big, that part here, but uh, that's not really that bad. Okay, I'm going to go back into browse mode and I will see that my subsummary um, part here is not showing up. Now, if you remember, it said subsummary when sorted by province and we're not sorted by province now. So let's do that. Let's sort by zip codes province. And if we do that, we all of a sudden do see our um, Sub summary parts show up now. I'm gonna make this one maybe a little bit bold so it, it stands out a bit more um, and maybe make it a bit bigger so that I'm really seeing that there is this other part going on here. Okay, so Antwerp and Limburg, my two provinces, are showing up here. And now I can basically see one, two, three, four guys here and two people here. Now I'm counting these manually, so that's not really handy. Let's try and figure out. Um, I'm also a little bit annoyed by this and this setting is uh, if you go if you click here um, you got your layout set up and you have this delineate fields on current record only I kind of find it annoying so there now uh, all these uh, are showing up kind of the same so what do we do now to actually have FileMaker count the numbers for me so the number the, the amount of, uh, of contacts shows up in this part so that I don't have to count them manually you can uh, use a very simple summary field we can find that by going to file manage database and in the fields here with uh, the contacts table we can just add a new summary field I call my summary fields s underscore and then I'm going to call this one count and I'm always going to count a field that is uh, not empty and I'm going to count the ID field because that's never going to be an empty field normally. So I'm going to create this and FileMaker is going to ask me what do you want to do and I want the count of the ID field in my uh, contacts table. Okay, so what does that do? What does that look like? If we go into our contacts here and we go into browse, into table view, then we will see if we modify and add that scount ID field to our layout, we will see that it's going to show us the total amount of contacts. Now, um, that is not actually very handy because I, I have six records, so I know I've got six contacts, so this is kind of useless. But what's really cool is if I do a find here and I say, for instance, and work, whoops, I may have made a typo there. Then I basically find two guys in that town and my uh, count ID, my summary count, <coughs> is actually going to update and it's going to tell me that in Antwerp I have two guys. Now, in uh, to go back to this list here, um, yeah, this list is not sorted. Oh yeah, it's just showing me a few guys here. Um, I can use this um, summary field in my sub-summary part. So if you go back into layout mode, this sub-summary part is actually going to show me the correct amount of people per province. If I add that field by my, using my field tool and dragging down, 
I can take from the contacts table my summary fields. I'm going to create a label for this. And I will type as a label, I will say amount. Amount. I'm going to make both of these bold so they stand out. And if I now sort my people per province, then I will see that in Antwerp I have an amount of four. In Limburg I have an amount of two. And once I have this, I can actually even delete my body part because I don't even need to see these people. I can keep them or I can just delete them. And then I'm just going to get a list of all my provinces with the amount um, basically written uh, behind there. So I will uh, maybe I'll just go to Control Shift L. I'm going to duplicate this list of provinces. Um, list of provinces. this one small because I'm gonna make this a smaller list if I go to this one and I go into edit layout I can just delete my body part click delete yep I want to delete this exit my layout and then I'm basically seeing my list of provinces now these labels are not correct anymore but it doesn't really matter I can see the list of my provinces and the amount of people I have in every province now you can set this layout up so that when you enter that layout it automatically sorts it by province so that you don't ever have to worry about it not being sorted because if you like uh, unsort this then it, the, nothing shows up but if you sort them correctly then uh, the provinces will show up. So this is a sub summary list really handy especially if you want to do a count per like in this case province etc uh, but now we're going to take this one step further and we're going to make a map with all these data with all this uh, these these numbers on there but that's going to be a little bit tricky to set up and actually to be honest this kind of list is the easiest way to just very quickly and easily see the amount of people per province and of course if you start updating it start adding contacts and provinces and, st and stuff like that this is all going to update automatically you don't have to do anything just keep this list sorted and um, this is actually the easiest way to see um, the amount of people per province but if you want to get really funky and make a map we can do that as well let's do control shift layout go to manage layouts and let's duplicate our contacts layout and let's call this one map it's going to be based on contacts that's fine um, it's not going to be in a list view it's just going to be a simple form view okay let's um, look at this layout map here let's go into this one okay I don't really need anything uh, on this layout but I'm gonna leave these things on for a second because it's gonna uh, show you a little bit of what's going on later on I'm gonna maybe expand this a little bit to make some room for my map let's insert a picture and I've got a little map here of Belgium let's um, use shift to drag this out so it doesn't deform too much and let's oops, make it a bit bigger I'm actually gonna get rid of this footer so I can have more room oops okay something like this should get me started alright let's move this one over okay now um, what do I, am I gonna do and how am I gonna get these counts this is gonna get a little bit tricky so what I need to do is for every province I need to be able to kind of separate all my contacts into uh, the contacts of a different province what we're gonna use for this is relationships and di different table occurrences so this is gonna be a bit of a tricky setup um, let's go in here in our relationship graph maybe we can show it here Basically, what I want to do is uh, my map is based on this contacts table. I'm going to be in here. And from this layout on, I'm going to have to separate my contacts per province. And the province is stored in here, but the count of my contacts is stored in here. So what kind of funky setup am I going to come up with to separate this? Well, first of all, I want to separate every contact per province. And I'm going to do that by creating a field, one field per province. Now, that's where uh, it gives you a lot of work. So this thing is a little bit uh, work intensive to, to set up. But if you do it once, then you do have a pretty cool layout. So um, what are we going to do? Let's go into context and let's make a, a sort of a field that contains the value, um, which is the name of our province. Um, let's call this one prof. And I'm going to start with Antwerp. 
I'm going to make this a text field and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set an automatic uh, an auto enter data and the value is going to be the name of my province okay but if I do that if I go to my contacts here and I go into browse mode and in table view if I modify to add my um, Rov Antwerp field here. This field is empty. Now I did set it to auto enter. If you would have created that field in the beginning then it would have had um, uh, the province name in here. Now if you see when I make a new record um, this auto enter does enter the name of the province but if you have like a bunch of contacts already then those um, those other fields, they don't have the name of the province filled in yet and they're going to need that. But it's very simple in FileMaker to uh, fill out um, all these fields with one sim uh, with the same value <coughs> by, <coughs> excuse me, by going into um, records and by choosing replace field contents. That will replace the contents of that field for every single record. So let's click this and because I've already got the value Antwerp in here, it's going to suggest that you want to replace um, the value of this field in every single record with um, Antwerp. Yes, that's what I want to do. And then it fills up everything with Antwerp and every new record I make will also have that exact same value. I don't need these two. These are um, kind of empty anyway. But as you can see now, I've got one field that uh, contains the... Um, name of a province okay that's a good first step let's go back to our relationship uh, diagram here because now i've got the name of my province okay when as soon as i have that i can make a relationship between this one and this field here to kind of separate um in my zip codes here the to separate that one province but i'm gonna I, I already have a relationship going on right here so i can't make a second one what we do then in filemaker is create a new table occurrence we do that by using these two green arrows here or by uh, simply control dragging this thing down if we click on this one i can duplicate this selected object and now it looks i've got zip codes and zip codes too it looks like i've got a second table but i don't i do not have a second zip code table because if you hover your mouse over here then this will say that the source table is zip codes and if i go here to my tables i see that i only have contacts and zip codes but this one has two occurrences zip codes and zip codes too so it's very important to understand that I have not just duplicated the table, I've just made it a new table occurrence. I'm going to rename this one zip codes and word. And so I can now relate this value, the, the value of Antwerp, to my province. And basically this relationship is going to make it so that in this uh, table occurrence only the province Antwerp will show up. Now I've got my count of um, contacts in here so I'm going to have to do the same thing with this one. Duplicate this one and I'm going to call this one contacts. Whoops, contacts and work. And I make, I make the same relationship as the one I have here is the ID of the zip code with the zip code ID. There you go, I can make this a bit smaller and there you go now basically when i'm on any contact this this field will have the value antwerp this relationship will make it so that here i've got only the record of antwerp that is visible and then because of that i will only be able to see in this table occurrence only the contacts that actually are from that province antwerp and if i then take that count that summary count field from this table occurrence i will be able to see exactly how many people i have in antwerp Okay, so let's set that up on our layout. Let's go to our map here. Let's edit our layout and let's take in a new field. And this field, now we have to be very careful where we get this field because it's not going to come from contact. It's going to come from contacts and Antwerp. And it's good that I named it that way because that kind of shows me, this is going to show me all the contacts of that province Antwerp. And then if I take that as count ID, uh, I don't need a label for this then let's um, center this a little bit let's see if this works um, let's go into browse mode and this one shows me four so this basically is telling me that I've got four uh, contacts in Antwerp now if I, I left these fields on here so I can show you that I can uh, <coughs> kind of scroll through my contacts but this value doesn't change because on every 
single record I've got this value of uh, oops in here I've got this value of Antwerp so every single record will give me a correct relationship to the zip codes of Antwerp and all the contacts in Antwerp let's um, do this one more time let's go to file manage database and let's add another one um, let's duplicate this one and this one's gonna be for the other province Limburg I'm gonna change that I'm gonna double click here because this one has to have a new value which is my second province okay that's good and again I've got that same problem that I had before if I add this field in here I will see that it's empty when I make a new record it does show up but it doesn't show up in the other records but we know this trick replace field contents replace with Limburg yes if you hadn't made this new um, if you hadn't made this new um, record you can also just always go in here file replace field contents and you can say replace with calculated field or what does it say calculated result and that result could just be um, Limburg. If you if you write it like this with these uh, quotation marks, then it will just enter the text Limburg. Let's try this one and see. It, will, it puts this value in every single field. And then again, we can go to File Manage Database Relationships here. What we can just do is simply copy this part here, and we could, if we want, we could give this a color so that it kind of stands out. That's pink. Let's not go with pink. Let's make it blue and let's control drag this down and this the cool thing is that this relationship stays which is good I do have to change the names now because the one I'm gonna do right now is not for Antwerp but for the other province Limburg double click this one Limburg and then I've got to make this other relationship uh, the prof Limburg field now needs to be related to again the same one here the province field so that I've got all my Limburg provinces showing up here and this shows only the contacts from uh, Limburg boom boom okay uh, so you can make these a bit smaller so that they don't take up as much space and then let's go back to my map let's edit my layout and let's um, do I can just take this one and then control drag it over under Limburg we got our contacts of Limburg with the count ID no label and let's have a look it shows me two guys from Limburg and four from Antwerp and I think that that was correct if we go here four from Antwerp two from Limburg so that's cool and that works let's just test this out for a second let's go to contacts let's go to browse to a table view here and let's just add a new one just for fun um, Funny Bob, and he lives in. Shall we give him Brie? Okay, let's go back to our map, and we can see that this has updated. It's giving me an extra guy here in Limburg, which is awesome. Um, these things don't need to be that big, and if you want, you can just um, you can just use um, some layout to make this look a bit funkier. Maybe you could um, let's see styles appearance. Maybe we can use the fill color, it could be none maybe, I don't know if that would work. What does that look like? Yeah, well, so you can just uh, play around with that. But uh, this kind of, um, you can even uh, make the border disappear and stuff like that. But this is, um, as you can see, it would be a good way to show um, numbers on a map. Of course, this is a bit tricky because you have to make um, one field here, one separate field with auto enter data for every single province. In Belgium that's not that much but um, <coughs> I'm showing it now per province you could also show it per arrondissement and that would be like 43 of them or something and so you would have to make 43 fields and then you would have to make 43 of these kind of uh, table occurrences but if you set them up once then of course you are golden and you've got a pretty cool system going on here all right so I will make this file available for you so you can try it out and look around in that file uh, but this is kind of the idea of how you could go about making something like this and again it doesn't matter which field you're on and in fact it might even be possible or better to just um, to just uh, delete uh, all these um, all these fields here so you're not really disturbed by them and then you probably also want to make it so that you can't accidentally delete a record in here um, be, because if, if you take away all these fields then people might not really be aware of the fact that they are um, that they are on um, 
on the contact table basically uh, or an, another way to get a go about doing this is to not add these fields in the contact table but to just make an entirely new table just for this um, specific map you could just make another table um, called map if you want that just has these fields in it and then you can start from that layout uh, from that table to make this construction and then you don't really have to worry about adding and deleting um, records because uh, with the auto enter data if you delete a record uh, you can just make a new one and the auto enter data will just enter automatically the all the province names and uh, you, you won't really have a problem with this um, with this layout you do kind of have the problem that you could accidentally uh, delete or create new contacts so that's maybe an, uh, one, one more improvement that you could make anyway there you go if you guys have any questions I will see them in the comments and uh, if not happy file makering or something like that. Ciao.